Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Today we are going to start a series of videos regarding the Unity UI system. You can use the UI system for creating menus, health bars or even uh, dialogue systems. If you enjoy this video, remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. As for our first video on the Unity UI, we will create a simple menu, so let's start by creating a brand new scene. So as you guys can see I have an empty scene right now. And what you want to do next is to go to the hierarchy view, right click with the mouse button, select UI and select button. Now what this will do is it will add a button to our uh, UI in Unity, okay? So as you guys can see here on the hierarchy, this created a total of four game objects. We have the canvas, we have the button that ha that is a child of the canvas, and we have the text that is a child of the button. Okay? It will also create a, 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 another game object called Event System. Now, before we move to the button itself, let's call, talk about the, the canvas and the event system. So, the canvas is the root object of all UI elements. It's created automatically by the engine when you try to add uh, your first UI element. As you can see here on the inspector, it has several properties that allow you to control how the UI renders. So, you can set the the render to several modes, you can have the screen space overlay selected, the screen space camera or the world space. So the first one, the screen space overlay, the, that is selected right now, um, places all UI elements on the screen on top of your scene. The second one, the screen space camera, is similar to the first one, but in this mode, the canvas is placed at a certain distance for a specified camera. For example, this can be used to create perspective effects on UI elements. And finally, with world space, the canvas will behave as any other object in the scene. So this can be useful if your UI is going to be part of the world of your game, right? So for now let's just leave this as screen space overlay. Okay. And as you can see, we also have on the canvas game object a canvas scalar script. So this is used to adjust the scale of the canvas, but we'll talk about this later on. Moving now to the event system. So this game object processes the and roots input events to objects within the scene and is also responsible for managing the ray casting. So this is a very important game object, so if you actually have um, a UI system on your scene, make sure you don't delete this game object by mistake, okay? Now, if you actually go to the scene view, where we are actually right now, we can see, let me just get it a little apart from here, and you guys can make me alright I think you guys can see this here so as you guys can see here we have this white rectangle in our scene uh, this is the representation of the canvas in the scene so the area inside the rectangle here will be our screen so if we actually change to the game what we'll see this area that we are actually seeing on the screen is the area inside the rectangle so you need to make sure all the UI elements are inside this rectangle so as you can see our button here is half in half out so when you go to the game view you can see only uh, a small portion of the of the button right so another thing you should do before starting working on UI elements 
um, that will help you a lot is to turn the 2D mode on. You can actually do this by clicking on the, on the 2D button here on top next on next to the um, scene view tab. Okay, so if you actually click here, we'll change to 2D and as you guys can see this is way better to work with the, the UI so here we have it we have our canvas area and here we have our button that is uh, not entirely in the canvas area so uh, another thing that you should do before actually start working with UI elements is to turn the, the fifth option on the menu here on top this one here on right so otherwise you'll have problems when you start when you start scaling or rotating the UI elements so make sure you have this option on when you start doing that so moving on to the button itself as you guys can actually see here it has a, a child called text and on this text game object we have a text component right here where you can actually set the text we want for our button you can also change the font so right now it's Arial. If you want to use another font, you just have to import it to, uh, to the project. You can set the font size to bold, italic, etc. Change the size and line spacing. You can also change the way your paragraph looks. So you can actually say to center, to right, uh, top, middle, bottom, etc. So here is some basic functionalities you find in any text editor right so let's start by changing the text of the button to start game so I go here and I just start game change the text here and as you guys can see on the scene view the the, the text of the button will now be start game now if you select the button game object here let's just hide this one the button game object you can see here on the inspector that we have three different components. We have the rec transform, the image uh, the component and the button component. Um, so if you take a closer look to the first one, you can see that instead of the transform that we are usually that we usually see in every game object in Unity, we actually have this new one called rec transform. Now this this is where um, this component is where you adjust the position and the size of the UI element. So you can either change the position of the, the values of the X, Y, and Z, and Z, uh, just like you did with transform. And you also can change the width, the height, left, top, right, or button. So right now you can all you can see these last ones that I talk about because this component has a particular property it changes itself according with the, with the based on the anchor you have selected on the UI element so you can basically select the anchor here we have a series of anchors but we'll talk about that later on right so right now let's just change the X and Y positions of our button in order to make it uh, in the center of our canvas so I'm just going to set the X position to 0 and the Y position to 0 as well and now if we actually take a look at the, the game view you, you can now see that our um, our button is on the center of uh, our of our um, interface, right? So basically, this is how you actually can change some of the positions of the of the UI elements. So okay, guys, this was our first video on Unity UI system. On the next video, we will continue working with buttons. Uh, but before we actually change the button and change the how it works. We will also talk about the anchors I mentioned before because they are very important uh, when working with the Unity UI system. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson. Until the next video and have a nice day.